Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the my tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to explain what exactly the PLSQL block is and how you can write the PLSQL block. So let's begin. So guys, what is PLSQL block? PLSQL block is nothing but it's a normal block in which we write the some set of commands of the SQL. So let's write over here one PLSQL block and let's understand what exactly the PLSQL block is. So what exactly you need to do is you need to write the declare and then over here begin uh, begin and then your end and then semicolon and then slash okay semicolon is to uh, say uh, this program has end on uh, uh, this slash why we write I will explain in the upcoming videos okay so over here what exactly we say over here this is a declaration part and this is your execution part so declaration part means whatever the variable or whatever the cursor or whatever you want to declare it okay so that part we will write over here so let's say for example if i want to declare some number kind of variable then what exactly you need to do you need to write over here your variable name so let's say this is my variable v1 okay and you need to give the your data type which is i wanted to declare as a number type okay and then i need to do the semicolon because i wanted to say that this uh, statement is and or this variable has declared okay i do not want to further uh, do anything or maybe you wanted to do initialize also then you can just simply write and then this is and in the plsql we can assign the variable with the help of this column and then equal to okay but in other programming language just simply we will do what v1 is equal to v2 or whatever so only equally sufficient in other programming language but in the plsql we have to go with the colon and then this uh, equal to okay now uh, in the second thing uh, this is called as a execution part okay this is called as a execution execution uh, sorry execution section Ex execution section okay execution section so in in this section we will write some if statement we will write over here some select statement we will write over here insert statement whatever the commands you wanted to write and you wanted to execute that we will write over here in the <coughs> begin or execution section over here we will write the exceptions also okay so this all these things we will understand one by one in the upcoming videos okay guys so i hope you have understood what exactly the plsql block is and how you can write the plsql block is now let's go for the practical and in that let's understand how you can write the plsql block is so guys let's see the very first plsql block so let me write over here the very first plsql block so as you can see on the your screen this is the very first plsql block okay now let's understand what exactly this plsql block is so this is called as a plsql block as you can see on the your screen highlighted uh, area only called as a plsql block and this is like add-on line which is uh, used to printing the uh, output okay now let's understand what exactly this program means so this is nothing but it is called the declaration okay declaration part and this is nothing but your execution part so what exactly we will do in the declaration part or declaration section so in the declaration section we will declare the variable and initialize if we want to to initialize okay and over here we will execute or we will write those command which execute just like the insert delete update and all stuff i cannot write delete insert update in this declaration part okay guys uh, over here in the execution uh, section you can write the uh, whatever the possible commands in the sql oracle sql that you can write it over here and one more thing you can write it over here exceptions so that we understand in the upcoming videos okay so let me show you the very first and uh, very uh, precise example of the plsql block so as you can see on the screen this is nothing but your uh, uh, very first program of the plsql block so over here you can see uh, this is over here i have declared two variable variable one and variable two okay and this is how we will declare the variable 
although i will explain how to declare any initialize and all stuff uh, in the upcoming videos but this is just this is for the example okay uh, i have written over here so over here what i have done i have declared the variable as a type of a number and what is the variable name variable is nothing but uh my where one this is my variable name okay now over here you can see i have declared the another variable which is nothing but your uh, my variable two okay and which is type of number and i have initialized the one two three and guys i would like to tell that uh, in the plsql we will initialize or we will assign some value to the variable like this with using this operator okay using uh, this symbol uh, generally uh, normally if uh, in other programming language you have seen like this we will assign the value but in the plsql we will assign value like this okay so you need to keep in the mind this thing now in the execution section what i have written so this is my executable command uh, or this is my i wanted to print something maybe i wanted to uh, insert something over here so i can write over here insert uh, command but i do not want to insert in the very first program i just wanted to print hello world or how are you my friend something like that i wanted to print then i can uh, write the dbms underscore output and dot put underscore line okay so this is statement or this function uh, i have written so this is nothing but your executable command of your plsql so inside that what i have written hello my dear friends how are you and then i have written or i have printed the my variable uh, two value so over here you can see uh, this is the variable name this is the string okay and this is nothing but your concatenation operator which we have learned in the our sql series correct so let me run over here let me press f5 uh, to run this program so as you can see on the screen uh, this is the uh, some string has been printed which is nothing but your this one correct and uh, instead of this the value of uh, this variable has printed over here so you can see over here so let me change my string over here simply i have written hello and then i i wanted to change over here something like this then also i can do let me run this program so now what exactly it will print let me clear first over here now let me run over here so you can see hello you can see hello and then some value has printed which is nothing but value of this variable means whatever i have assigned in this variable that has printed over here so you can see over here this value has printed so this is nothing but your plsql block let me repeat and let me summarize what exactly this plsql block is so this is called as a declaration section in which we will declare the variable and initialize the same okay this is called as a your execution part in this execution part or execution section we will write the executable commands just like the insert delete dbms uh, underscore output uh, dot put line so this kind of executable commands we will write in this execution section okay so this is all about the plsql block i hope you have understood so guys i hope you have understood and thank you so much watching for the video bye bye take care